Okay, I wanted to quickly put a um, video together about being able to assign officials to games. And <clears throat> it, it actually is a really good example that I've got set up here. Um, so I've got a, I got a two game set and uh, I need to assign the same officials to both games. So I'm gonna kind of cover um, both linking your games and what it does, as well as um, assigning the games themselves. So grab your games, and you could have a long set of games, but in this case, I've only got these two. The first thing I need to do, and I always preach um, this as best practice, is you should go in and um, link your games when you know that they are that they are um, that they are to be linked that they're a set that they're a, a, what am I trying to say a double header so what you'll do is right here on these check boxes check the boxes right here and over here on the left there's a link button and when you click on that it's going to link those two games together now you only select the games you want to link. You can't just run down your list and say, oh, okay, these games are to be linked, and these games are to be linked, and these two are together, and these two are together. You actually have to select the two that you need and then link them. Select the next three that you need and then link them, and then keep going until it's all linked. We do have a mass link unlink right here, and it's based on the, on the subset. So if I were to go here to all games, and you see these games right here, so if I just started clicking on that and linked them all, they would all be linked together, okay? But if I needed to, if I knew games needed to be linked together, which uh, I don't see any, okay, right here, 3-9 to 3-9. So these two games right here should be linked together. So if I come over here to mass link and say I want to mass link games, then I can give it my parameters. Maximum number between, maximum minutes between games, I always just put 200. I make it really wide, so I know that the system's gonna encompass everything. And then the maximum number of games per link set. So if you knew there were three games per, excuse me, if you knew there were three games per link, then you could put that and it would find all the games that had three and link them, but it would also include the ones that had two and link them. But in this case, I'm only needing two, so I click on process, it's gonna think for a little bit, and it's gonna tell you these games were linked, these games were not linked. So if I go back, that those three nine games were are linked. So whenever you so whenever you put your schedule in, and I always I always do it based on my team. When I put my teams in there and I'm done putting those games in, I always go mass link unlink just to quickly get the games in there and get them linked so that I don't have to bother with this when I go assign the games, um, when I go assign the games later. But if you want to just put all your games in there and then do your mass link unlink, go ahead because it, it still does the same thing. But in this case, what I need to do is um, I need to go and grab my games again. So it was 60 and 61. So here are those games, and now I need to assign my officials. So it doesn't matter which game we assign, because it's going to put the officials on that same game. So I'm just going to open up the first one, and then click on Assign. The first person is Delon D Delo, I guess. So here he is. Now I can put him in a pending, and when I do that, it's going to put them in as pending. Oops, I clicked on the wrong button. Sorry. So I can put them in as pending. And there, he's in his pending. So if I go back to my games, there they are. Okay, so now, of course, I didn't have to back out. It, it moved me down to the next slot, right? So I could continue to keep assigning my games. But now I need the second person. And there's something I want to show you, R-O-B-L-P. So 
let's say that you know this official is only going to work the first game, but he's not going to work the second game. But you've already linked these games together, and you see that when you assign the slot, it throws it to everybody. If you uncheck this this checkbox right here, then that tells that tells the system, I don't want you to put this official in the second game. I only want him in the in the first. So I click on pending. And it tells me I've got an issue, which is okay. I can still assign on top of the issues that have, that have been thrown to me. So if you run into that, not a big deal. Just click on go again. And there. He's put in the first one, but not in the second one. But if that was an error, oops, then you could go in and assign him to the second game. Or you can just go in and, in this case, what it should have done is it should have put them in in all of them. And it'll even tell you for the second game it'll tell, it'll give you the same issues because maybe there's a different issue for the other one. But in this case all of them are good. I can still assign on top of that and click on go. So now because they're both in pending, once you get your assignments taken care of, then you just go come over here to the left where it says publish. Click on that. Give them the accept by date because you have to put a date in there. You can leave it the default if you need to change it, you can. And then you just click on publish, and then the games are gone. Those, those four slots have been published, and you can see it too as well. So that's how you assign your games. That's also how you can go about linking your games. So I hope this was beneficial. Again, if you've got any, um, any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be happy to help you. Thanks.